What's going on, Odooers? Nathan here. If you haven't tried it yet, Odoo's appointment app is a powerful way to let your customers easily book meetings, consultations, or services with no endless email chains needed. It works seamlessly with your other Odoo apps, providing your clients with a smooth professional booking experience from start to finish. Let's dive into Odoo and see how simple it is to create your own appointment. Here at Stealthy Wood, we've just updated our furniture showroom and are now ready to offer tours to our potential customers. From this main dashboard, we're just gonna open up the appointments app. And first we need to set up our first resource. So in this case, it's gonna be the showroom itself. And to make that resource, we're just going to click on configuration at the top followed by resources. Here, we're just going to click new in the top left and we're gonna name it furniture showroom. We're also gonna set the capacity to five while we're here and we're going to upload a picture of our furniture showroom as well. Below, you'll see we have a shareable checkbox. Enabling it allows multiple attendees to book the same slot, which is perfect for group sessions or classes. However, since our showroom tours are private, we're gonna leave this unchecked for now. And right below that, we have an option to link an additional resource, such as an additional meeting or service. For this example, we're gonna leave it blank. And last but not least, we have our description tab. We can give it a quick description like, check out our latest custom design pieces. And now that our resource is ready, we're gonna move on to creating the appointment type. Back on the appointments dashboard, we'll click new in the top left corner. For this example, we use the meeting preset and we're gonna update the appointment title to say showroom tour. While we're here, let's go ahead and also add an image of our furniture showroom. And for the duration field here, we're gonna leave this as is, which is one hour. If we wanted to make this meeting any longer, we could update that accordingly. For location, we're going to choose Stealthy Wood, since that's where our showroom is located. And if I wanted to, I have the ability to add a video conference link. However, for this example, I won't since this is an in-person visit. Remember though, this is extremely useful for virtual meetings or interviews. Moving on to our book field, I'm gonna update this from users to resources. And when I do, this resources field appears and now we can go ahead and add the resource we just created, which is our furniture showroom. Now to make sure this is in line with our resources, I'm going to tick the checkbox besides manage capacities and this will update it to limit it to five visitors per tour automatically. Now let's go ahead and scroll down and check out our availability tab. You'll see the default schedule automatically follows your company's working hours with a built-in break from 12 o'clock to 14 o'clock. This ensures that tours don't overlap with lunch breaks. You can also adjust these hours to fit your business's needs. Moving on to the questions tab, let's go ahead and collect some visitor info. I'm going to click add a line and enter a new question by clicking new. And this one's going to be, what type of furniture are you interested in seeing? And at the top, we're gonna to update this answer type to multi-line text. We can also enter a placeholder for the empty answer field. And for this, we're just going to type in, please let us know so we can best assist you. Below, we can also make this question mandatory, which we'll do by clicking the mandatory checkbox. This requires to answer before booking. Lastly, we can also make this a reusable or default question, which means this question can be used in other appointment bookings. We'll leave these as is for now and then just click save and close. Moving on to the communications tab. Here we can set up our intro and confirmation pages as well as our email and SMS notifications. For the introduction page, I'm just going to paste in a quick message. And for the confirmation page, I'm just going to quickly paste in another one. We'll keep the default reminders as is, which is an email three hours prior to the appointment, as well as a SMS message one hour before. 
If you ever want to add your own custom reminders, you can simply click into this field here, click search more, and then new at the bottom. We'll leave the default booking and confirmation email templates as they are for now. And let's go ahead and move on to the options tab. For this tour, we're going to leave the allow invitations checkbox unticked. We're also going to keep auto confirmation on as well as the display pictures option enabled. That way, Odoo automatically confirms bookings and customers get a nice visual of the showroom. Here, we're also going to tick the create opportunity so each booking automatically generates a CRM lead. This keeps everything organized and prevents duplicate work. Since the showroom tour is completely complimentary, we're going to leave the upfront payment checkbox unticked. And for scheduling, we're going to leave this at weekly. This allows bookings during our standard business hours. And if we were to change this to flexible bookings, this would only allow custom time slots. Finally, we'll keep the allow booking field set within the next 15 days and at least one hour before the next start time. This ensures that bookings aren't scheduled too soon or too far in advance. We'll also leave the create slot field as is, but we will update the time zone here to Los Angeles. Since Stealthy Wood is on the West Coast. And that's it. Everything's ready. All we have to do now is click save at the top. With everything saved, now it's time to publish our appointment. All we have to do is click the go to website smart button at the top. And it takes us to the website page with all the configurations we just set up. Here I can see what my customer sees. If I wanted to book an appointment for tomorrow, I would simply click on the date, choose how many people are coming with me, and then I can choose my desired appointment time. Now, when I'm ready to publish this appointment type, all I have to do is toggle this from unpublished to published which makes bookings available to the public. And that's a wrap on setting up appointments in Odoo. We walk through creating resources, customizing appointment types, adding reminders and confirmations, and fine tuning options to give your customers a smooth professional booking experience, all without the back and forth. That's all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, Odooers.